right, here we go. Ayo Chubsters, how's it going? Welcome to... I, th I honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought that I had already done a video on this game. But apparently I did not. And this is a game that I have put some time into. Uh, this is obviously Curse of the Dead Gods. This is a, this is a roguelike sort of strategy game. I wouldn't say strategy, it's just a roguelike, right? And we'll dive in. You can see here that I've done some work, but I've also last played it in October last year. So I'm just going to load this one because I have a decent amount of progress already done with it. If you guys want more content of this game, I'm, I will consider starting a brand new save file. And then we can start from the very beginning. But yeah, this is Curse of the Dead Gods. It is a... I don't know how to define it other than a roguelike. Um, and I'll explain more of the game as we go. But this is just part of me pumping out some easy, quick videos. Some, some one-offer type content videos for my trip. I actually just finished packing like two seconds ago. And then I sat down to record. So... Uh, what do we got here? Hunting axes, grape shot revolver, broken long sword. So you get like a slew of weapons, and your objective is to pretty much traverse through areas while also navigating curses and things like that. You can take on more curses to, um... Oh, I do like venomous fangs. I'm going to take that. So when we hit X, we have our torch. The torch helps us push back darkness. If you stay in darkness for too long, you can accumulate unnecessary curse. Taking damage accumulates curse. Um, if you look in the bottom right corner of the screen, there's that purple bar that says 0 out of 100. That represents the level, uh, your curse meter, so to speak. And then the little triangles above represent like each actual curse that you take on once that bar is filled. <clears throat> sometimes they can be helpful, excuse me. Sometimes they can be helpful, sometimes they can be significantly hurtful. And actually destroy a run, so... Um, I'm not gonna worry about this, this is just like level up perks and stuff, but there are three, technically three dead gods. And they're represented by colors. Red, blue, and green. And so you dive into a temple here. As you can see, there are also events, I could do the Mad Temple unique event. Uh, the temple can be the greatest enemy of all with traps come alive. Any contact with a trap may be deadly. Cheat death with its powerful relics before it takes you. I could do that, but I just don't know if I want to right now. The cursed archer... There's two cursed archers. One is of the, like, the red route, the red god route, and the other is the green god route, which is, like, serpents and snakes and poison traps, and this one is more fire. Um... Receive Annihilation Bow Mana. So the same thing. I don't know if I go for the full. You can see here, 95%, which means that I almost did beat the boss here. I almost did beat the final boss here. And then I almost did beat the final boss here. So, that's not super helpful. But, then you can see here on the levels that you have completed, it will tell you complete, how much time it took, all those things. So you know what? Because these are all... Ah, that one took me 33 minutes. But it looks like each run is relatively 15 to 30 minutes. How about we go for... What am I feeling today? Um... You know, I didn't think about this. Uh, this challenge has defeated me once, this challenge has defeated me once, this challenge has defeated me twice. So how about, if I'm going to lose, we might as well try one of these that I haven't had much... Challenge on run the entire temple of the Jaguar. Challenge the dark avatar of the Jaguar on top of his two champions. So, Jaguar or Eagle. This one would be lightning. Blue is electricity. I'm kind of wanting to roll my chance with fire rather than electricity. So, let's do it. You can see here, it's kind of like Slay the Spire that we did uh, semi-recently. Um, you get a map. You can view the map. You can see, like, the route you're going to take. And it's actually the entire map. As you can see there, boss one right there next to the, the map cursor. Boss 1, Boss 2, Final Boss 3. So, I, at least I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Now, you can go for a new weapon, you can go for a relic, or you can just go straight up for gold. I think I'm going to go for the relic. That seems like a good idea. And you take 20 curse every time you go between floors. So, this game is very punishing. It's one of the tougher roguelikes that I have seen um, in a while. Um, partly because I don't play the Fiery Halls. Here we go. But partly because I don't play this game a lot. 
Um, I am semi out of practice. You can save uh, in between floors and stuff. Let's see, I got a shield, I got that, and then circle is my heavy weapon. But you did- oh, hello. I forgot a dodge roll. That's awkward. It is RT. Now you can light the torches to give you uh, a little bit of backup. And then as you can see there, I charged an attack a little bit. That guy hit me, I didn't even see it. Oh, I'm messing up so bad. Ah, he got me again. The poison talons are just really good. It's fast damage. That's a bomb. Let's not set that off. We can set it off here, though. Because it'll blow up this wall, and then we can go in here and take a look around. Oh, do we have fights? Are these statues active? No, they're not. Grab the gold, because why not? But we cannot go back the way we came. Now, the number of rolls you have are also limited. Um, so you have to be careful about that. And your route usually gets blocked off. Depending on which way you go. Now, I just got attacked by a trap right there. That thing shot a fireball at me. You can use traps to your advantage as well. Um, it's just not... Not... Uh, what's the word I want? It's not not ideal. But yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting back into the swing of it. So you can pick this up. Yachts is pendant, uh, plus three dexterity, or you can offer it to the gods for max health. I'm going to take the max health because we took a lot of damage at the beginning. And then... Oh, we're at the end of the first floor. Okay. So now you can buy a relic. Um, obsidian bracelet. So I don't have enough gold for that, but you could offer your own, your own juices there, as you can see. Or you can use a favor. I think I have four favors, and I think if you use a favor, you re-roll it. Engraved breastplate, no single source of damage can take, uh, you take can exceed 15% of your max health. That's kind of good. I kind of like that, or increases weakened effect durations by three. Eh. I think I'd rather take this one, but like I said, I don't have the money, and I don't want to sacrifice my health for it, so. Um, we're going to go for the gold room, because that is what is next. Now, I will probably end up taking a curse, so I'll probably end up taking a couple curses, but... You guys will see that. Now, you can see there, I just attacked with the torch. Um, so it does burn damage. Uh, he turned off my torch. Yeah, here. Now, you can hit your enemies with the torch, and they become a light source as well. Oh, I tried to dodge roll. I didn't have it. So the little blue diamonds right below my character, those are kind of like the, um, the amount of moves you get. So, like, as I dodge roll, I lose one. So, the, if you run out, then you can't dodge roll until it recharges. It doesn't take too long to recharge, but... Ceremonial Dagger, I'm good. I'm going to sacrifice that. I like the shield, although I don't use the shield that much. I do like the shield. It's comfort, you know what I mean? The poison should take you out. Yeah, there it goes. So if you build up a combo, you get a greed, greed kill counter or whatever. Pretty nice. Did, is this going to hurt me? No, it did not. We actually got stuff. Uh, I'm also going to offer this... Oh, minus four corruption that time. That's spicy. There we go. A couple of greed kills. What do we got? Thorn Seed. Taking damage from an enemy deals 30% of damage taken to enemies around. I will take that, actually. All right, here we go. Next floor. We could go unknown, or we could go attributes. Uh, I'm gonna go attributes this time. Now we just took uh, we our bar, our curse bar just filled up, so we take our first curse. Reflected temple curse. How can one know when one is consumed by sadness until a mirror reveals the tragedies etched upon the face? Temple can switch appearance at any time and turn into a mirror mode. You gain plus five perception. So there's like there's a little bit of I guess give and take with that curse, right? Mirror mode's not too difficult. Um, I would say it's not too difficult. Now, if you have your if you have your torch out, I was gonna say, I think having your torch out helps a bait curse. That's the caveat, though. 
using that word a lot. So having, oh, it went mirror mode on me. So there you go. That's that's a bit of that curse. What do we got? Twenty uh, plus two. Twenty. I wish it was twenty. Plus two percent base damage per a thousand gold carried up to ten times. So this is good. Um, because right now I would gain plus four percent base damage. Ah, uh, but that means you don't spend gold. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. We need the damage right now. I'll wait for that to recharge. Oh, okay, okay. Cheeky. You really don't get much reaction time on that, huh? Let's see, uh, lots of traps right now. Uh, this is gonna be a fight room. Uh, that didn't really look like it switched to anything. Nice. Okay, so we're not doing terrible, but we could be doing a lot better. Normally when I do these runs, it's like, just don't take damage at all. Hey, we got to the end. Um, so we can take... Uh, to... To Amix gift, Sichal's gift, or both of them together. So you can get 250% max health, treasure, but you have to spend money, so it's like... I would, I'm honestly just going to take this one because I don't want to go below 2,000 gold right now so I can keep that base damage up. But we'll take the max damage right now and we'll go to the next floor. Which I I don't know if I want a relic right now because it means you have to spend gold. I think we'll just go attributes again because they're cheap. They are very cheap. But yeah, this is a, uh, it's a little bit of a different twist. Oh, come on. I guess you just have to dodge roll through like all of those. I'm just going to go for it. I know there's gold back there, but... Now, kind of a hack with this... Oh, okay. Ha! Ah, you cheat. Get out of here. I'm tired of you. There we go. Goodness. But kind of a hack is to have weapons that do fire. Ah, it was mirrored, but we're at the end, so it doesn't matter. Uh, more max health, plus 10% damage, or both together. I'm going to take the damage. I am going to take the damage. Now, there are rooms that you can't heal in. Uh, they're just not here right now. Uh, there's one right after the boss fight, though. Of course, it's after the boss fight, you know. Gotta make the game hard. <laughs> Oh wait, is this one of those rooms? Oh, this is one of those rooms, I think? Yeah, you heal in exchange for curse. You know what, I'm gonna gamble a little bit. I am gonna gamble, get back to full health. We just got lucky with that on no room. I am gonna take a curse to go to the next floor. I'm gonna go for gold because we can get more damage, more gold, more damage, but what is curse number two? Visions of madness, the wounds inflicted by the denizens of the temple are not only physical, but also psycho often psychological, and even some spiritual, some even spiritual. Taking damage causes hallucinations. During hallucinations, dodging has no stamina cost. So, like, that could be used to your advantage, right? It totally could be. The question is, uh, how can you, like, fully maximize that? Ah, uh, he got me. Let's see, now I can dodge like crazy if I want. But I think when you get greed kills racked up, you get more gold, potentially? Not entirely sure about that. But there is a way to remove curses. What is that? He looks like he's doing a thing. I don't like that. Ooh, I thought he was going to do a third. Wait a minute. He can destroy torches, if I'm not mistaken. No, I did see another one down here. Woo. All right, hopefully we're done with the room. Uh, plus 20%. Ah, uh, no. Take the gold. 
Money? Ooh, what are you? Storm's Point. Um, each kill restores one more stamina or lightning attacks. I kind of do like the idea of lightning attacks. Um, now any weapon that you equip and then you drop, you cannot turn into a sacrifice. Unfortunate, but that's kind of how the game is played, you know? Alright, what do we got in number two? Uh, plus 15% damage to poison attacks. Yeah, we should take that since I'm using poison. Grab the gold. Grab the gold. Oh, is it just one big room? I think we got everything. Up. We got up to 3,000 gold right before the boss, which means we're doing plus 6% base damage, which is good. That's really good. We need it. But alright, let's get into this boss fight. We're doing more damage because of poison. First boss. I can't pronounce your name, sir, but I do remember this boss. He has the dogs that chase you. He's got some interesting attacks. I thought he attacked twice. Does he not? Timing is super important here. I'm gonna let my stamina recharge. Oh, he's gonna do... Uh, I thought he was gonna run right there, but I guess not. I think this boss has to stay in the center, but I thought there was a chase phase. Maybe there's not. Kinda accidentally dodged that guy right there. Whoo! Skirt that. There it is, we got him. That was actually really easy. That boost of damage is coming through. So, whenever a boss is defeated, you get a bunch of stuff, and then you immediately get to remove a curse. And I think... I mean, I honestly am not against either of these, but you do get to... you have to get rid of one, kind of. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of the mirror, because the animation just, like, is annoying a little bit, but... Pick up all the stuff, then you can get a, uh, whatchamacallit here, Scroll of Sacred Songs. Gains obtained when offering a gear object to the gods are increased by 100%. That's actually kind of good. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Amber Pendant, it's a e eagle relic. Increased max stamina by 1 plus 3 constitution. Um, a, I think I'll take that one too. Now if I hit the... Is it triangle? No, it's not triangle. Oh, if I hit start. So you can see the, uh, the relics that I currently equip. So we only have a slot for one more right now. But you can see my weapons and the codex and the uh, the curses. So, we did stave off a lot of curse right there, which is fantastic. So now we can easily keep going. I actually don't even need health. Like, I'm going to go for gold. So we can just double up on the gold. Because, you know, if we can get to 5,000 gold, we're doing 10% more damage. The sun's galleries. Enemies and traps have gotten stronger. So they say. I'll be the judge of that. All right, I'll be the judge of that. It's pretty, though. That's yeah, stronger, huh? What? You missed. See ya. Look at all the greed kills. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this to get rid of corruption. That's basically our next floor for free. Going, tra like, traveling to the next floor for free. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Because the TNT's been lit. You gotta be quick. Oh, biscuit. The fire's gonna spread and light everything in that room. It's not even worth trying to get all, all the gold in there. That's cheeky. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, big guy. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Let's keep her going. Oh, of course. But dodging's free right now. We just can't see the health bar, but we got him. It'll wear off. We'll be alright. Uh, there is a chest in here that we can redeem. 
Just a bunch of money. What are you? Incendiary bombs. I'm going to offer that to the gods for more max health. Are we capped at 1600? I don't know. But alright. Uh, our only option is to go the relic route. So let's go relic route. Now, the question is, would we get the same curse back? I don't know if you can get the same curse back. What I do know is that we will probably end up getting another curse. By the end of this run, we'll probably have four, if not all, curses. Just gonna throw that out there. Unless I'm just, like, god mode of this game, which... Since I haven't played since October, that would be something spicy. What do we got? Temple's Heart. Uh, regain 4% of max health when you pass through a door, plus 2 dexterity. I'm going to offer that to the gods, actually. It's good, but I'm going to offer it to the gods for uh, more gold. I'm all about that money right now. All about that money. I think we have to go this way. But yeah, we shall go. That seems really sketchy. I definitely didn't like that room. All the explosions, that's why the screen is shaking. light you on fire. Ooh, biscuit. I don't want it. You thought I did, but I don't. Take the gold now, because why not? That is a lot of... Oh, okay. There we go. So see, sometimes the curse is actually an ally. A little bit of an ally. Oh, that's cool. I wonder where that goes. Maybe that's where we started. Honestly, I thought there'd be more traps, so. And I think we're at the end. Is there a fight? I don't know. Um, Gleaming Sapphire. It's a relic for an eagle. 20, a plus 2%. It's the same thing we got before. Uh, the thing we have now. I don't know if it stacks. It'd be cool if it did. Um, or is this to upgrade? Um, level 3, level 3, level 3. I don't know if this is an upgrade or not. I have no idea. But you can see there, too, I think if you offer uh, blood, then you just increase your curse, which is what the other number is. So you can gain 30 curse in exchange for just getting that item. But I don't think it's an upgrade. And I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass, because we'll probably get a better one from a boss anyway. Weapon. There's a chance to get new weapons. Did we just curse up? No. Okay, we have one more room without cash. So that's spicy. Okay, there's one. It's dog. There we go. Oh, there's more. And they're stronger. Spicy. There we go. Oh, it's getting intense. Uh, off for the gods. So I think that that 1600 might be our max health capacity. Um, but then it's just giving us health. Because I think it's... Or is it giving us a, a health up? It's recovering in health based on our max health. I don't know. It's not actually... Ooh, Hunting Axes, Steel Tip Talon, or Silver's m Slaver's Maze. Uh, I'm good. Actually, I'm, I don't need a weapon. I was just curious. We could go for just a straight up up a straight up upgrade. Yeah. Um, I like that idea. Let's go for an upgrade. We did just take a curse. We got corrupted. So what is our new curse? Cadaverous Infestation. Some enemies lie dormant hidden within hosts waiting for the moment to strike at yet another unwary prey. Regular enemies can spawn additional creatures when killed. See, that is not ideal. 
So when we fight this next boss, we'll probably nuke that one as soon as possible, because that's just a bunch of unnecessary fights. I didn't even see that guy there. I was like, what am I hitting? Luckily, the poison is helping me sort of time when the other creatures spawn. I think that was a parry right there. Ooh. There's more. See, if you had a bow and arrow, this would be, like, the perfect opportunity. Oh, can I just skip them? I don't even have to fight them. Okay. Um, Offer the gods. I don't need it, but I'll take it. I'm like, I'll, I'll sack, sack it off. Uh, what do we got here? This was the upgrading the 1200 to upgrade. Oh, is it worth? We go from... Uh, what is it? For? That says 14 plus... F oh, no, right now we're at 12 plus 4, so 16 damage. And we can get up to... 19 damage. Yeah, I'll do it. We're giving up a little bit of base damage to increase our weapons damage, which is fine. Especially because we also get the, um... We get the boost already to that, so it's fine. Uh, let's go for the relic. Relish the relics. Okay. Let's keep her going, dude. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well this has gone. All things considered, I want to set it off. Fail. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, did not say we did. Light you guys on fire. Light the cobwebs on fire, we'll do burn damage to him. I got hit again. I'm ready for him. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these things run away from the light, so that helps a little bit. Get back, fools. Like I said. Um, and that's the end of the floor already. Alright. Uh, does that mean there's a chest in here or something I need to open? Get out of here. Look at them. Oh, it's right there. Um, Mark of Enlightened, plus 10% damage in light, or Codex of the Accursed, plus 50% to all weapons, base damage, plus 50% to all damage taken. Ugh. You'd literally just not have to get hit, ever. That's insane. That is insane. Mm, and it's really expensive, so no. Yeah, I see you over there, punk. Alright, attributes time. I don't think, if things go well on this floor, I don't think we're going to take a third curse before the boss, which is great. But we'll probably end up having a second curse right after the boss anyway. Alright, cool. And those are just crystal skulls. You use them for currency later on. Let my stuff recharge. Roll roll out. Um, let's go this way. 
the danger zone. Oh, if we had a, um, will he blow it up? Oh, he totally does. It's dope. Oh, do we just have to go back the way we came? That sucks. So now we have to outrun a, uh, explosion, a fireball. Uh, did these guys do anything? No. Sometimes the, uh, the statues, like, spray poison and stuff. It's a little cheeky. Hey, you did the thing for me. Thanks. We don't need them around. And we're at the end. Nice. So what do we got? More max health, more treasure find. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna skip because like I said, we're kind of banking on just lots of muns right now. So alright, boss number two. We have five thousand muns. We have five thousand gold, which means we have plus ten percent base damage. And we didn't take a curse, so everything went as planned. But here we go. Litz and Napok, the cursed twins. Champions of Jaguar. Oh, okay, we're off to a good start. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. So it's like a Jekyll and Hyde sort of deal. Okay, I got corrupted. That's cool. Oh, okay. Guess we're just doing a tanking of damage here. Oh, we're back to this guy? Okay. I am taking a lot of hits. I'm dodging too early on that second one. Are you switching forms on me? You are. Oh, come on. Uh, you're almost gonna on. Actually, we have lots of health. We're fine. Skadoosh. Get out of here. Gross. Alright, so we got rid of a bunch of curse. Well, Dark Mark. Dark Mark? We don't know what Dark Mark does. Um, let's see. Um, that's not really that bad. Like, that's doable. I'm gonna get rid of Dark Mark. That one seems a little sketchy. Uh, what do we got here? Um, increases max damage by one. I'm actually gonna off death of the gods. Get rid of corruption. Now, I don't think I get rid of a curse. Ooh, plus four percent base damage. Uh, can I take? So now we have... What was that button again? This one? So now we have the plus two percent base damage, which is at five. So we're at plus ten percent there, and this one will be plus twenty percent. So maybe we just hit like a truck now. Also, our max health did go up to 1,900, which is spicy. We don't need healing. Uh, I might just go right for the upgrade here. Now, hopefully we won't take on any more curses until the final boss. The Sacrificial Chambers. Yeah, things have gotten stronger. We just need to stay stronger. Uh, what is this room? Is this just a, a heal room, a fight room? What do we got? What are we dealing with? This room does not seem familiar. Oh, yeah, we're cleaning up right now. I don't want what you're selling, sirs. Oh, I hit the dodge. I was spamming dodge right there so hard. Why are you so tough? Goodness. Oh, I didn't even see the attack coming in. That's gross. have gotten stronger. Oh no. <laughs> Dodge. We're gonna take a curse on for sure. I will say it's easier to see the bats in that mode though. 
when we're all uh, invisible. Oh, hello. I don't like what you're uh, saucing up there. <laughs> I didn't have anything to dodge with. How are you not done yet? Big spear. Alright, no more heals. Oh, that room was a lot. Okay, crippling bow. I might actually take a bow. 18 plus 7 fully charged shots weaken enemies and removes one corruption for each enemy killed. Yeah, we're taking the bow. There you go. It's a good one. Bows are dope. Um, so I could upgrade the bow. 1600. Oh my goodness. 25% chance to automatically trigger a parry plus 15% damage while in the light. Plus 20% base damage of secondary weapon is a shield, so we got that. And plus 30% damage against the League's champions and bosses. I mean, we might just have to take it and just take a little bit of an L on the, uh, whatchamacallit. Because that goes up to 26. Like, that's that's good damage. Right now we're at uh, 14 plus 8, which is 22. Oh, we go from 22 to 26, so it's not like a huge upgrade. But it is still damage. I'm going I'm to bank it. I'm going to bank on it and hope for the best. Now, we have a way to, like, stave off corruption if I use the bow a lot. Um, and I, at this point, I'm just going to go gold, as many gold rooms as possible, and decrease our corruption as much as possible. That's like a two-fold objective here. Alright, got one. Got two. Now, that's just too many bats to deal with. we got uh see now we're out of room for our pendants so i could take plus nine constitution but i don't want it so give me my max health uh, oh he got away oh uh, that i trigger more enemies my bad Bow is obviously a lot slower, but I mean, you got that range for days, so. Um, no, we're absolutely getting rid of that. Now, let's light up this room. It's so red in here. I mean, it is the sacrificial chambers, but like, ugh, it's red. Grab the Muns, light up the room a little bit more, you know. Gotta see what they're working with for decor. What is this? Oh, I can't even climb on there? I thought it was gonna be special. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I gotta... Oh, I didn't bait well enough. Alright, we got him. So I mean, we've, we've done a pretty good job decreasing the amount. Do the bats even count for this? Oh, the bats don't even count for removing corruption. Okay, so I've been wasting my time. Neat. Neato. Can I just... I could just skip that guy and go to the next floor. Which I'm gonna do. I'm totally gonna do. Uh, I don't know what this clock... Oh, the clock up there is a timed event. You have, like, X amount of time to clear the room. Uh, I'm gonna go for gold. I'm not too worried about the clock. I'm not worried about the clock. They do not call me clocks with. I'm not into it. Uh, what? Oh, they're on fire. 
Did I do bad? Excuse me, gentlemen. I just need a clear path. Don't mind me. Okay. One of these rooms, huh? Huh? Ah, don't do it. I think that destroyed the statues, though, so I don't have to worry about that. Skirt. Oh, we gotta worry. You have time for the gold? Grab the gold. If you don't, then get out of there. Hello, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, come on. Get potatoes. Wonder if I could get him to shoot down the wall. Hey, I can. Totally can. Nice. And the traps are blasting the crap out of these guys, which is both good and bad because I need to be able to just beat them so that I can get the corruption down. <laughs> Ooh. Got him. Nice. Ooh. Spicy. Spicy meatballs. I will take the money. We're back up to 5-4. Five, 5-4, four. Five, four, five, here we go. Oh, hello, sir. Sir Pooch. Okie doke. Well, they're giving me credit for all those kills, so that's great. Oh, hello, sir. And let's see, plus 15% damage against weakened enemies. I mean, that's good, but is it... Ooh, I could get rid of Thorn Seed. But the Thorn Seed might be good against the boss. I don't know. I'm going to offer it for, to get rid of corruption. Just to make sure that we're pretty low. Because like I said, I don't want a third curse going into the final boss fight. That seems like a bad time. Give me the go. Would you... Yeah, here. Um, let's see here. Uh, might as well heal. Get, so we're at full health. We have pretty low curse. Um, relic, weapon, upgrade, final boss. We can do this. We got this. At least you guys will get to see a final boss on one run. That's kind of spicy. But yeah, I swear I had done a video on this before. So I went into my channel to look for it, and I couldn't find anything. So I was like, oh, that's weird. So we're kind of just leaving it at that for right now. And I'm giving you guys a video of this game. Whew. Uh, the statue shooting fire definitely helps you in certain situations. So I'm going to bait them down here. They take all that damage. I do a couple of shots. Nice. Double kill. Very good, very good. And bloop. Oh, I don't have the dodge. I dodge right into the fireball. That feels good. Oh, we're not even close. Doggy boy being thick. I didn't get to finish him with the bow. So yeah, the, uh, the auto-aim with the bow helps a little bit, especially when you just need to spam it real fast to get rid of bats. So that definitely works out. Uh, are we not at the end? Oh my goodness, we're not at the end yet. That's one. That's two. Buckle my shoe, bro. Like that last second dodge though. Spicy. Yeah, so you can just spam. Go on and spam. Spam the, the thing. Oh, hello. Might as well get the advantage on him, get a couple shots before he attacks. The piercing is also very helpful. Ah! I'm gonna go over here. Come 
Come on. The big guys used to be so hard to defeat. Uh, minus 24% corruption, so we're down to absolute one. Oh, hello. One, two, break, take a break, take a break. One. Okay, we did it. What do we got? What do we got? E, uh, uh, lightning attacks? I don't have any lightning attacks anymore. Uh, plus 15%, 30%, and then plus 45% to weaken enemies! Cheese its how much is that? 3,300? <laughs> I need the gold. Yeah, I need the gold. Hold. Alright, what do we got? Weapon. We're gonna do weapon upgrade, then do the final boss. And we should, at this rate, we're not gonna take on a third curse, which is fantastic. Weaken. Get in there. So many shots with a bow. Alright, who's next? Eh. Almost dodged into that attack. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, I can still bait it. Let's go. Fire. Did nobody get hit by that? Oh, I got hit by that. Alright, I'm going in. Had enough of your shenanigans. Nice. Oh, I gotta get rid of the the big guy in the back. Ah, come on. I'm taking on so much damage right now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You can't dodge like that, you potato. Whew. Don't do it. Alright, they're gone, so no more heals for them. Oh, my gosh. I always underestimate the range that these guys have. I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. Found him. Wait. Got him. Uh, Max Health, please. We took so much damage. Oh my gosh. And that's probably the, yeah, that's the end of the room. Okay, what do we got? Blazing Blade. See that? That's a fire combo. That's just one. And then the Blood Weeper. Kind of fun, but we're not going to take anything because, again, keeping all the gold so that we can significantly boost our power. Actually, wait a minute. We didn't take on a third curse. I'm actually surprised we did not. After all that damage I took, that was horrendous. Hello? Oh, it's another big guy. Of course it is. Yeah, blow up on him. Nice. Okay, you got me, mate. Ha ha. Good for you. So if that if that pooch can go down, that would be easy peasy for me. Oh, there's more. Why? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. How are you not gone? Come on. There we go. What? Oh my gosh. I am just, my rhythm is gone. If I had any rhythm, it is now absolutely decimated. Oh man, that sucked. That sucked. We're going into this final boss fight with like half health. It's such a problem. Um, do I even upgrade at this point? It's 2400. It would get us up to because right now we're at what is that? 27, and we can get up to 29. No, 31. I can't math. Um. See, there's not enough math here. Let's see. We would go from 68 down to 44. So we'd still get a boost. I'm going to do it. We got to bank on it. We got we to gotta bank on the gold damage being enough at 44. And then we got to bank on... Oh my gosh, I hate going to this final fight like this. I absolutely hate going to the final fight like this. I, I probably will die. I've not beaten any of the final bosses. This game is tough. But I have a strategy... Dark Avatar of the Jaguar. He's tough. I don't want what you're selling, sir. Oh, that's fire. Oh, come on, I wasn't ready for the follow-up attack. Oh my gosh. I think you take more damage in the darkness as well, so having your torch out helps. I don't know where he's at. I don't know what he just did, but he did something. This arena be wild, and what's he doing? You coming at me, or are you coming at me? I forgot my button commands. I literally forgot my button commands right there. I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's right in front of me. Ah, oh, that's fine. And he's on fire. We love fire. Oh, we have no, no health. Ah, oh, he got me. I literally just had no health, too. Fluff, man. That was tough. That was so tough. But, yeah. That's the uh, that's the final boss right there. But you can see all the stats. You can see the progress. You can see the playtime. Yeah, we've been. Uh, that's a pretty decent long episode, and we collected the gold and all that stuff. But anyway, that's pretty much the run. And then after you do a run, whether you're successful or not, uh, then you can use those crystal skulls you collected. And there's the roguelike element. You just come right back to the beginning of the temple. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can use the crystal skulls and those uh, other items on the top right to purchase upgrades and things like that in this store, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so whatever that is, is 40 Crystal Skulls, and then Forsaken Weaponry, and then um, whatever the other stuff is. Ah, oh, this has almost been an hour recording. <laughs> PlayStation's like, hey, you get an hour limit per video, and you're at 55 minutes, so wrap it up. I'm like, yes, sir. Uh, but anyway, uh, 100? I mean, I guess, why not? What do we get? I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Divine Favor. Oh, each favor allows you to refresh the choice of items or relic shrines. Get an additional Divine Favor. So I probably would have done that had I read, but it's fine. But anyway, that is the first and potentially last look at the Curse of the Dead Gods. So if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. It's a, definitely a much different roguelike aspect than you guys are used to with Bind of Isaac and Gungeon. Um, but it is, it is interesting. It's got potential and things like that. So 
I think it's interesting enough to at least do one video on, hence why I did it. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good time. I, at this point, by the time you're watching this, I'm probably either driving back from Georgia or I am in the midst of some kind of crazy sh shenanigans and maybe I'll be vlogging it for you guys. I don't know. But anyway, have a great rest of your day. Have a great every day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.